said I, I love you. I thought if you ever said that, that it would change everything. That I'd be happy, and I'd know where to be. You do. You're supposed to be with me. When you love someone, you trust them with the truth. Then this is not a matter of trust. It's a matter of knowing how you're going to react to things. What was I supposed to do? We were in the police station. You were already mad. Was I just supposed to tell you that I was forced to make a deal with my grandfather? Your freedom, if I never saw you again, you would have exploded. You know what? Not only did you not trust me enough to tell me the truth, but you didn't think I was smart Sarah, enough to play it cool. It's not as if you haven't made big mistakes. You're right, Emily. I counted on you to be honest with me, to never lie to me. If this is love, I don't need it. Are you saying that you're finished? So you want me to leave? You never want to see me, and is that what you're saying? I've just, I've had it. I've had it with everyone telling me what to do, who to be, how to think, how to feel. Sonny and Alexis have been doing it for months, and now you. But I don't understand why you're mad at me for Right, because I am sick and tired of everyone deciding for me what's best without me even getting a vote. <sighs> let me, let me get this straight. It doesn't matter to you that I've just been running all over the place trying to figure out where you were. I took a bus here, tr hoping that, that, that maybe this is where you would go through to get to Canada, but it does matter that I, I was forced to do what my grandfather said to keep you out of jail. It's like you're not grateful, you're just angry. I've got a right to be, Emily. Why can't you see that? Because all I can see is you pushing me away. how hard you push because I'll go. I'm not trying to upset you. You left without even saying goodbye. You said you never wanted to see me again. But... I'm sorry I hurt you. I just, I didn't want you to go to jail, okay? Look, AJ and Ned took care of it. They had Grandfather sign this confession thing. I, I made sure that he could never, ever hurt you again before... I thought of all the places in the world that you could have gone, and I picked the right one, and I came here. Doesn't that count for anything? Baby, please don't push me away. What's she doing here? She's not involved. So get rid of her. Hey. So we just spoke to the client. You know, we just gotta go pick up a few, uh, few supplies and other things. And we're out of here. Alright, go ahead. Uh, I'll catch up. Hey, I'll meet you at the store. Four hours and you're already selling drugs. After you dumped me, I... I didn't think it mattered what I did. No, you cannot do this. You cannot do this after everything you have bought. You cannot sell drugs. You can't do something you're not. Hey, stop. Stop telling me what to do. I can choose whatever I want. Uh, this is what you... You want to sell drugs. I can't believe this. You would rather sell drugs than be with me, just because I tried to keep you out of jail. You can't keep saving me, Emily. I have to save myself. Why can't you get that? Oh, that's brilliant. So what are you going to do, sell drugs and end up in jail? Hey, maybe this is all I can do. You know, that's what my family thought. I 
tried convincing them for months that they were wrong. Well, maybe you're wrong. Yeah, maybe. I can't believe I thought that you could change. That under no circumstances would you ever sell drugs again. That you would never hurt me. You would always put well, Emily, me Emily, I'm not hurting you. You're, you're about to sell drugs. Well, I, I can't believe... I... You said you left me, Xander. I moved out of my house for you. Oh, yeah, Emily, make me feel guilty. That'll help. Two seconds after I met you, you stuck a gun in my ribs. You had me driving 90 miles an hour in the middle of nowhere with a gun pointed at me. You said that you weren't scum. And I believed it. No, I never said that. You did. Don't put this on me. Don't. My only crime was believing you. When you said that you had plans for us. When you came out to California to get me. When you said you cared about my mother. When you said you loved me. Was this all just to rip out my heart? No, it was because I wanted to be who you wanted me to be. Or was it maybe just to get me in bed? To get you in bed? Are you serious? If you could even think that, then you don't know me at all. Makes sense, doesn't it? Maybe I was just a, a pit stop, a, a challenge. Now you're just going back to the way things were before. Maybe my family was right about you. Maybe you were just... Maybe you were just using me to get out of a murder charge. Yeah, that's why I put all that on the line and came out to California just to make sure that you were all right. Then make me think something else, Xander. That's my point, Emily. I won't tell you what to think. You can't tell me either. I guess not. I don't want to anymore. You obviously don't care about me at all. I can't believe you're not saying anything. I guess my grandfather did us a favor. I guess this is the best thing that could have happened. Maybe it is. Got some things to do. Guess I uh, just pretend like you never met me. I will. Follow me.